All right, guys. Let's take a look here. Okay. Okay, so let's take a look and see what's going on. We still have our severe thunderstorm watch. This is in southeastern Kansas, and then we do have a tornado watch out across central parts of Oklahoma. You can see all the yellows here. These are severe thunderstorm warnings, which are popping up central Oklahoma into northeastern Oklahoma, and then once you get uh, northeastern Kansas and the northwestern parts of Missouri. But we still have a little bit of a cap in place a cap is the lid on the atmosphere um across southeastern kansas so i've been watching this storm which has kind of popped up uh, to the west of bartlesville and then it worked all the way up near parsons you can see it and it hasn't been able to do anything and it's because we're still kind of in a little bit of a capped environment now farther north and west the cap is gone, so we're getting showers. We're getting thunderstorms across the I-35 corridor. But we do have something that is interesting that is kind of happening here. So let me zoom out here. So this line really from Kansas City along the I-35 corridor, this is the cold front. And you can actually see this little line that drops southeast right there. That's the cold front. So this cold front is going to overtake the dry line, which the dry line is right through here so once this cold front overtakes this line then our severe threat is going to be completely gone and that is going to be in about two hours but we still have to keep our eyes on what is going to happen over the next two hours so as of right now let's go a little bit farther north you can see a pretty good line moving into kansas city northwest side of the kansas city kci uh, Platte Woods all the way back toward Lawrence and then just south of Topeka to Emporia and we do have some severe thunderstorm warnings south of Kansas City but then we have this big gap of nothing we have this little guy south of Chanute that couldn't get going and then I am still watching this storm just to the southwest of Bartlesville all right see all this green out here this is the tops of the clouds which is blowing over top the thunderstorm so it's taking the tops off of the thunderstorm so because we have that going on uh, these storms are kind of shearing out just a little bit uh, that is a good sign for not wanting severe weather but we are going to get some pretty good storms for us as we go through the overnight hours but i do think our tornado threat here it's 906 by 10 is pretty much gone which is good and then we're going to go into a hail and wind threat but we do still have this severe thunderstorm warning which is tracking northeast at about uh, 35 miles per hour. So if we put a little track on it, extend it out. So let's go out to about here. You can see over the next hour. So Dewey at 906, Nawada 924, Lena Pa at 925. So if we kind of said, where's this storm going to go? And if it holds together, it will get into the metro here in about... Uh, Let's measure it. Let's see how far it is. 75 miles away. So it's going to get here, but it's going to take, uh, geez, an hour and a half, two hours, two hours to get here. So we are going to get some storms. I think the overall tornado threat is going down, but we are going to continue with the hail and the wind threat as we go through the rest of the overnight hours. And most of the storms, I think from this point on, are going to be along and south of I-44. So that's, I mean, that's good. At least the overall tornado throw is going down. Uh, let's see. Tornado watch. I do think one's going to go out to our south, which will include kind of northwest Arkansas. Uh, and this is going to be due to, I'll show you. See these guys lining up east of Oklahoma City? As these all continue to work, that direction, that direction, that direction. So there's going to be a tornado watch that goes out for northwestern Arkansas. But besides that, most of us are looking decent right now, which is good. I do want to watch that guy as he moves in. But as of right now, he doesn't, he's not holding much of a tornado signature. 
We are getting uh, winds at 60 and also some quarter size hail. All right, so let me look through a few comments here. Da, 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 da. Let's see. Uh, let's see, running with Ben. Tornado chances for Miami. I think everybody's tornado chances are fairly low, which is good. I mean, they're there, but they're a little bit lower. Yeah, there's a lot of prom going on tonight, so I do know I've noticed that there's a lot of people wondering how the kids are doing because uh, there is a lot of prom. Uh, let's see here. Uh, yeah, there's several people talking about prom. Okay, so again, the overall severe threat. We still have it for the next few hours. I think it's mainly along and south of the I-44 corridor. Tornado threat, it's 909. So after 10 p.m., I think our tornado threat is really tiny. Um, so that's good. But then we switch over to a hail and a wind threat. I'm going to keep my eyes on this, and I'll let you guys know, of course, as this cluster that cluster near Bartlesville gets a little bit closer. I'll give you guys another update, but I wanted to let you guys know what's going on right now. Nothing uh, too bad here.